Hello, Cancer. Welcome to this 2021-2022 year in review. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So this is a general reading first and foremost. Yeah, so please take at what resonates and leave what doesn't. Now, you could watch this video for any placement, okay? Anything that you have Cancer in that you're wanting to look at, a, a look, get a little bit of a review on and what could potentially be coming up next year, go for it. Obviously, your main three placements, Sun, Moon, and Rising, is most likely going to be the most relevant or, yeah, the most uh, relevant or resonate the most, especially with, of course, your rising sign being at the top of that list. But really, the purpose here is just to get general messages all around, okay? So, what we're going to do, Cancer, is we're going to take these two tarot decks that I have. One of them we're going to look at, we're going to look back at 2021 and see what that was like for you. And then with the second deck, I'm going to look forward into 2022 and see what could be coming through for you in relation to your life. Yes. And then, of course, we're going to close out the reading with some Oracle guidance. And for this series, we're using the Light Worker Oracle. Alrighty, Cancer. Let's dive into this. I'm going to give this three shuffles for you and we will see what 2021 was like for you. Yeah, this is one. For my Cancerians, what was 2021 about for Cancer? This is two. And this is three. All right. So for 2021, what was 2021? <laughs> what was 2021 about for Cancer? Yeah. Some of you started businesses in 2021, but really the main theme has been self-mastery. And actually what I'm getting with that, Cancer, is part of this level of self-mastery did involve you creating some sort of business or working on your own somehow, okay? I feel like part of that for, some of you, for a lot of you has been the fact that you may have been feeling guided to do this all along or um, you needed some, it feels like you needed some sort of push to get you to start that business or to start working in that capacity or to start that side hustle or whatnot, whatever, okay? First card out is the Three of Pentacles. Now, it feels fairly generic to say, and maybe even cliche to say, but like 2021 was all about self-mastery. Okay, I mean like the cliche of that or or maybe the the generality of that is our whole lives are basically an opera big opportunity for us to work on this level of self-mastery. But for you, Cancer, it feels specifically that the universe may have been pushing you in ways to better yourself. And I feel like you may have been really dragging your feet or procrastinating on that, but certain things lined up in certain ways that got you to not be able to deny it any longer, not be able to escape from it any longer, not be able to push it off or push, push it away any longer, okay? Two more cards here. Wow. You might want to watch the Aries reading because I was just thinking that this kind of feels similar to the Aries energy, but also you have a card here that Aries got the same card. It's the King of Wands in reverse. And then you have the Lovers in reverse. Uh, overall energy is the Ten of Cups. Okay, it's interesting because I was feeling, I was kind of picking up on this also. Some of you may have put off this level of self-mastery cancer on behalf of other people in service of other people. Some of you actually allowed yourselves to kind of get lost in the sauce there. I feel like you used your relationship with other people, your connection with other people, how you may have been responsible or holding certain responsibilities for certain people or other people. I feel like you would use that to allow yourself to escape from what it is you really need to do for yourself. And yes, ultimately, Cancer, it was a choice. It definitely was a choice, Cancer. And ultimately, you have that right to choose, but I think you were using that to, to your advantage, right? But it really was to your disadvantage because you were missing out on the, the, the level of self-mastery that you could have attained should you chose to work on yourself more than you chose to work on behalf of other people. And I mean, like, whatever, it's not a big deal. It's not a bad thing. And I don't, and I'm definitely not going to stand or sit here and say that, you know, you missed out on a bunch of things or you've seriously held yourself back or you're, you're like 
totally off course or have to make up blah. No, 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 no. That's not what we're talking about here. This is all part of a, a natural part of a process. And I feel like the energies that you may have been How do I want to say this? I feel like part of this part of this process for you, Cancer, has been needing to allow yourself to procrastinate in this way in order to help you gain a deeper understanding of this lesson. I feel like it's all part of everything. All right. Let's see. What's next for Cancer? Or not, I'm sorry, not what's next for Cancer. Um, what else do we have for Cancer in terms of what 2021 was? Four of Pentacles. Ooh. I'm hearing an entrenched energy. The same old, same old. The status quo. There was... Uh, 2021 has been a year of great change for all of us. But for you specifically, Cancer... Yeah. I, for you specifically, Cancer, I feel like... Um, you really needed to change. You really needed to change this energy or this element about yourself. And because we had such an, an upheaval in, in terms of, you know, life <laughs> in 2021, I feel like it was, this was kind of the perfect time for you to do it. Energies were so chaotic anyway that maybe, this is funny, but what I'm getting now is like maybe you felt like at a certain point you felt like, well, things are so chaotic now, I can get away with being chaotic myself and having to go through this energy of needing to change. Some of you may not have really wanted to work on this change because of how it was going to make you look or how people were going to perceive of you as you went through this time period. But there was something about 2021, which really shouldn't be too hard to identify, but there was something about 2021 that finally gave you the okay, the go ahead. It's like, well, things are so crazy around me right now. I could really get away with this. Like I could afford to be a little messy at this time. Okay, Cancer. <laughs> I mean, however you want to rationalize it is fine. I don't care. It's your life. Do whatever you, as you want. But, but what you have here to follow through with what 2021 was for you, Four of Pentacles. Here's that entrenched energy. Here's that status quo. Here's that fortress. Here is your belief systems or the same old things. And there is something about this that you just did not want to change, Cancer, which is weird because you're a, you're a cardinal sign. Change, you drive change. Oh, when it's focused on everyone else. Oh, I get it. Okay. But you have this four of swords with the king of swords. I'm sorry, the four of pentacles with the king of swords. And then the six of cups. Getting very clear on the past, certain entrenched energies, things that you have not wanted to let go of, things that you've been holding on to for dear life out of fear of change. Coming from a lack mentality. And then overall energy is the three of cups. This is the hive mind, right? This is the same. This is an, also another energy of the same old, same old. This is kind of a comfort zone energy, but again, it involves other people. Okay, with the three of cups, you you get into the realm of social contracts, right? social agreements between people, social understandings. The three of cups can also be kind of a hive mind mentality. Well, that needed to change. Underneath that is death to the queen of pentacles. Wow, uh, this also may have been a self-worth issue. Queen of Pentacles and then the Five of Cups. And to the Emperor, to the Tower, Cancer, okay? This really may have been a self-worth issue. What I'm getting with this Five of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles here, Cancer, is that there may have been a moment for some of you in which you started to recognize and realize just how depleted you are or how depleted you were becoming or how your, your values, your needs weren't being met. I heard on behalf of other people. So either this was there were other people in your circle that weren't keeping up their end of the bargain or weren't even really trying to give you any time and attention, but they were happily to take from you or this is just in relation to the relationships you had somehow. But there was a level of sorrow in terms of this realization. Queen of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and then here comes the Emperor and the Tower, okay? The Emperor is like, no more of this. We're setting the record straight. We're putting greater boundaries in place. That's excellent, Cancer. All right, so that's what 2021 has been for you. That's what 2021 was like for you. 
let's move forward here, Cancer, and see what 2022 is bringing to you, yeah? Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. Four, and five. So, what is 2022 looking like for you, Cancer? Here we go. What's 2022 bringing you, Cancer? Twenty twenty two is bringing you some sort of emotional durability. Queen of Cups. Also, this is you, Cancer, right? With the Six of Cups here. Um. Okay, so what I just heard, Cancer, is that you are focused heavily. You are heavily focused on the past, but that's in order to understand it and make greater change. So 2022 is looking like a time period in which you are going to really be focusing on your emotional stability and durability and groundedness in terms of the past circumstances. So it feels like 2021 was a year in which you were being influenced to start working on yourself, to start bettering yourself in certain ways. Three of Pentacles, right? By the time we get into 2022, you're going to be able to emotionally handle certain things that you may not have been able to in the past or maybe that you just refused to handle or maybe that you weren't even aware of okay overall energy here is the high priestess at this point higher wisdom higher understanding intuition um psychic abilities for some of you you may actually be opening up to psychic abilities for some of you over the course of 2022 you'll be you'll be really tuning into that and maybe even healing some sort of family malarkey <laughs> surrounding that for the, for somebody here uh, maybe it's a group of people but for someone there has been some sort of shunning of certain like psychic abilities or extra per, extra sensory perception or something like that that's ran in your family and maybe it feels like either you're addressing that with them, you're approaching that with them, or you will be healing some sort of family karma, ancestral karma, in terms of your psychic abilities, your, your intuitive abilities, whatnot, whatever. And you would be doing that by working with it, okay? Accepting it, bringing it online, making it a part of your spiritual practice. Okay, what else is 2022 looking like for Cancer, please, Spirit? Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles in reverse, interesting, Death, okay, and the Two of Pentacles, okay, so all right, all right, all right, yeah, 2022 is looking like a, a year for you, Cancer, in which you come out of this reconstruction phase and you start moving forward with the inspiration that you have received through working with this three of pentacles energy, working on self mastery. Okay. I feel like, I really feel like cancer 2021 was the year in which spirit was really getting you to start focusing on you, to start accepting responsibility for certain things, for your actions, for certain relationship dynamics that, you know, you had your own part in. All relationships are a two-way street. You cannot ever blame something solely on the other person. You always have your involvement, right? For better or for worse. Uh, but what I'm getting here is like 2021 was the universe, had the universe kicking you in the pants. Like, let's go. We got to start. We got to start healing. We got to start making a better situation out of this. Once we reach into, once we get into 2022, Cancer, it's looking like you're taking action from that place. Having gotten more comfortable with this transformation process and driving forward. Ace of Wands and Death. Okay. 
And some of you, <laughs> it kind of feels like some of you may turn into certain uh, tyrants by other people. I mean, like, people may start to look at you and be like, why are you being such a hard ass? Or why are you being such a tyrant? Like, what is your crusade? What are you on? And it's really not even that you're trying to be a tyrant or anything like that. It's just you're focused. You're driven. You're really, you're driving this change. You're driving this balance. You have the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Underneath that is the eight of, is the ace of cups and then the eight of cups. Okay. There's the drive. Page of cups is the new emotional reality, right? And then here's the, here's the controlling, here's the very, the, well, controlling, sure. Okay. But the... The energy that's kind of making you look like a tyrant in a little bit, uh, you know, but it's not the emperor can the emperor can be misunderstood a lot depending on your relationship to like authority and everything. But the emperor is not necessarily intrinsically a bad energy. He's controlling. Yeah, he's driven and focused. Yeah, but the thing about the emperor is that. He's controlling in the sense that things are done for a certain, uh, done a certain way for a reason. Like it's not when when the emperor energies are balanced and harmonious, it's not arbitrary. You know, if we're talking, somebody is like my way or the highway. That's the emperor reversed. Okay, but the emperor upright sets certain boundaries. Okay, but he knows, or this energy is aware that if we do this this way. That is going to get us the best the best chances of receiving the results that we desire. The emperor is also an energy that sets boundaries. In relation to his counterpart, the empress, he is the energy that, that sets the walls around the empress's domain so that the empress can focus on doing her natural healing, nurturing, uh, providing, you know, that, that, that motherly type energy. Whereas the masculine, the emperor provides the physical protection, the physical boundaries so that the, the, the realm is safe for life to flourish. That's why the emperor can be a little bit of a hard ass. But you see, you're doing this cancer because you have received the change in perspective, the hanged man. And you know what it is you're after. And you're just driven to get the desired results. You want the seeds that you're going to be planting, Ace of Pentacles, within the realm of the Empress, should we keep with that analogy. You want to ensure that they live, that they survive. And not only that they survive, that they thrive, right? So you're going to have to go through certain processes. You're going to have to have certain boundaries. You're going to have to be a hard ass sometimes and be like, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're doing this. So you really could even be driving change for people around you, like in your family. I am getting that very specifically. Some of the people closest to you are going to be the ones that are the, the ones that feel this the heaviest, the most from you. Whether you have children or you just have a family or a, a, a unit that you, that you speak for, that you work with, that whatever. I def You and Gemini are feeling like agents of change this year. It's pretty interesting. Okay, cool. Let's close this out, Cancer. I'm going to give this three, four, five, four. I'm going to give this four shuffles for you, and we'll get your closing guidance. Yeah? One. Two. Three. And four. <clears throat> All right, Cancer. What's your closing oracle guidance here? Wow. Card number 18. This is beautiful. Ascension. The Rainbow Bridge. Beautiful. Okay. Here we go. You have been growing spiritually, and your consciousness is expanding. It is transforming your experience of the material world from something you must control and or conquer into a living expression of the radiant divine. That's funny, because the emperor is kind of like that controlling or conquering energy, but 
Here, it's just coming through as a protective thing for you, right? Balanced, healthy, whole, all that good stuff. As your appreciation and love for the material world becomes more unconditional, so too does the light that can flow into your aura, chakras, and physical body. As you physically expand, you may need more rest, healing, and meditation than usual to integrate this increasing degree of light and the consciousness it awakens within you. Excellent, Cancer. I really love this for you. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you guys are interested in getting one of these readings for personal, uh, in, in, a, in a personal way, so like just for you specifically, um, shoot me an email. My email can be found in the description box below and we will do the, exactly what we did here. We'll look at the energies of what the year was for you personally and what could be coming forward for you in 2022. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your year, and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. <laughs>